Tommy the Duke Morrison was born in January 1969. This is Tommy the Duke Morrison's shirt and I would love to do a review on this. Now this came from his lovely wife, Trisha. So this is one of Tommy's shirts. If you guys don't know who Tommy the Duke Morrison is, okay, Tommy was a pro fighter. I mean, the Duke Morrison started in Rocky V as Tommy Gunn, and not only that, he was also, uh, you know, related to John Wayne. Not only that, Tommy was originally from Oklahoma to where everybody loved Tommy. He was uh, great in sports, he was great on the honor roll, he was, um, you know, got along with friends. Then he moved on from high school to bigger and better things in the boxing world. And, you know, um, Morrison was a really big name in Oklahoma back then because you had Tommy, you had his family's name. Now, when in the boxing ring and he was in fights, he would destroy men half his age. And he had one hell of a hook shot that really just took his opponent out. And it was really one of a kind. And that's what made him so talented besides being a fighter and all. Now, one thing that Tommy did when he was, uh, you know, growing up and fighting, he wanted to get an amateur, so he forged a fake ID, and not only that, Tommy had over 290 wins, and he was really, really great at when he was, you know, in the ring as well. He would just knock him out. He also had a 263 knockouts and somewhat losses, and not only that, he also competed in the 1988 Olympic trials. He did lose to Ray Mercer. It was a unanimous decision and not only that, Tommy also had a lot of great other fights on top of that. Wish I could have met him back in the day when I was growing up watching Rocky you know, with Sylvester Stallone. But if you want to see some of Tommy's fighting, go look at some YouTube videos or if you want to see more of his awesome fighting techniques, you know, go check out Rocky Five. Rocky Five is, uh, people call it one of the worst movies of all. Sylvester Stallone didn't like shooting it. If he could, he could take it back. That's why he talks about shooting Rocky Balboa. Tommy Morrison was very dedicated and humble to boxing overall. He would work hard, train hard. He would go at it, and not only that. So after being in a movie, after you know, having a boxing life outside of the ring. Tommy did live a life to where his health did take a toll. So since it took a toll, so people did say Tommy died of AIDS, which is not true. Tommy married Trisha Morrison, his wife, before he passed away. And on September of 2013, Tommy Morrison passed away in Nebraska at the medical center due to cardiac arrest, multiple organ failure. He was only 44 years old and not only that. So I'll put more links down on the description down below where you can get one of these awesome Tommy the Duke Morrison shirts. Tommy did have an awesome fight with the George Foreman himself. This is the shirt I'm currently wearing. Here's the back of the one I have on currently, and this is great. So I thank you very much, Trisha, for sending me this shirt, and I love it, and I plan to get more. My name is Chris, thank you for watching, and take care, y'all. Bye for now.